Hi everybody. Yes, I'm sitting up on the counter. I'm not really this tall, just FYI. So today I thought I would tackle a little kitchen project for a little kitchen organization and cleaning. And that is this cabinet here, which houses our water bottles, our tumblers, and various assorted jars that we have. So it has become a huge mess. I can't find anything easily without having to move a ton of stuff around. And I've got all kinds of lids and a little basket over here. Okay, I can't even touch them without them falling. I've got a bunch of lids and reusable straws for things. And then I've got um, jars up on the second shelf and more jars up on the third shelf. I'll try and show you those. So there's just a lot happening in here and it does not work for me anymore. So I thought it would be a good summer cleaning project to take everything out of here, reassess what I have, and then find a more organized way to put it back. Okay, first before I get started, I wanna give you a closer look at what's happening in this cabinet. So this first shelf, like I mentioned, has our water bottles and tumblers, and also obviously an overflow of jars. So I have all kinds of water bottles and things back here. Yes, I really do use a ton of water bottles and tumblers because I drink a lot of water, so I always keep a water bottle or something with me during the day just around the house. So I just have a ton in here, and some are my family's as well, so they're not um, exactly all mine, but probably 98% of them are mine, so it really is my bad on this one. Um, then over here, this is what I did, bef okay, this is what I did before to try and organize things by keeping all of the lids in here but we have since branched out we've got a little blender thing we've got i guess two little blender things a blender ball and then this thing for magic bullet we have um i mean it's just dangerous we have re okay we have reusable straws a bunch of reusable straws because you know some of these tumblers for example starbucks ones they always come with a plastic straw that you keep so we have those i have extras for things here but I mean, when I want to find something, I can't find it easily, so this no longer works. Then on the second shelf, we have a lot of jars, and I have the lids for the jars back in big Ziploc bags. So these jars are new. They were so cute, I had to get them, so that was super practical. I mean, I will use them, but they were more for looks than uh, need at this point, as you can tell because I have so many jars. So we have this size and shape um, ball jar. So then we also have this size and shape ball jar. So we use these a lot as just regular drinking glasses, actually, and my husband in particular. So that's why I don't wanna get rid of these jars. And that's why we have so many of them is because that's just kind of a preferred drinking glass for us. I don't really know how that started, but it's now a thing. So I want to keep those. And then I have just some, I mean, there's just little extras of things, random things. And then on the next shelf up, which is super hard for me to reach and show you, I have these jars, which are from Better Homes and Gardens. And my mom got these for me. They were really inexpensive. She found a bunch of them at Goodwill. So she got me some and I have the lids for those. Also, well, some of the lids, the rest are either on the jars or just floating around. Let's see, okay, I'm up on the shelf because, or I'm up on the counter because I really wanted to take a better look. Uh, yeah, see, just things floating around. Big thermoses, little thermoses. We don't really use those, but we got them. And I've got a lot of these little short jars. And then up on the top, a couple more random jars and lids and things. So obviously I have the room to keep things more organized, but I'm just not sure how to go about doing that yet. So let's take everything out and get started.
here's the damage. I took everything out and here are, well, these are two jars that I sort of can't account for because they're not part of either set. But I'll come back to that. Okay, so here's all the water bottles and tumblers. And it's mostly water bottles, apparently. I thought we had more, like, you know, Starbucks type tumblers like that, but we only have a couple. Um, so I just don't know if I want to get rid of anything. And that's part of the problem when you're kind of hoardery like me is you don't want to get rid of things because you like everything and you think you're gonna use everything. So I don't want to get rid of anything. Um, no, I don't want to get rid of anything. Okay, maybe I'll get rid of this Hello Kitty bottle because obviously it's seen better days. It's scratched up now, so that one can go. And it's got a super wide mouth. And the lid for it does, you know, it just is a regular screw on top. So uh, when you drink out of it, you have to drink out of the super wide mouth. And I that's not my favorite. So... Maybe that one I can part with. And then this old blue water bottle, we don't use that. So I'm going to get rid of that as well. And I hate to do it, but I think I've got to get rid of this glass one because it worked really well for a while, but then the lid stopped screwing on tightly and it started to leak. So, but I know my sister uses it sometimes. So I don't know. No, it's got to go. It's got to go. Okay, what else? No, I like this old bubble mug. I have two of these. Here's the old one, and here's my new one. I like having both of those. We use those. And that one is my sister's. I can't get rid of that. Boy, I don't know. I like everything else. I think I want to keep all the rest of these. And I'll just have to reevaluate every once in a while. So we're also keeping everything from this magic bullet thingy. That's my sister's, so I have several pieces of that that I need to keep. And then here's, okay, again, here's the jars. I have five of these new ones, which I knew, that's fine. I also knew that I have a bunch of these, whatever size ball jars, I think they're three cup. Uh, let me look closely. Yeah, three cup ball jars. And I could not tell you for the life of me what happened to all these ones that are just straight up and down? Like they're skinnier. These are skinnier than those. I don't know what happened to the rest of them. They're two and a half cup ones, I think. Um, they have, they disappeared. I, I don't know where all the rest of these went. I used to have a big set of them. I assumed they were all back in there, but they are not. So how do you lose jars? Like how do they disappear? I know over the last few years we've had a couple break, but certainly not like 11 of them because they usually come in sets of 12. So where the rest of those jars are, I have no idea. And then I can't find all those and I found these instead. These are two different shape. They're also three cup, but they're slightly different from this set. Where did these come from? There's two of them, I don't know. Now this might be Partly like maybe my family uses stuff or they bring stuff that I don't know because I have a lot of family in my house. So that could very well be. But um, luckily these jars and I don't know about these, I'm gonna have to see, but these and these for sure use the same lids. So I have all of them now in a Ziploc. Most of them were in there before, but I got everything together now and I don't know if I should keep them in the Ziploc or put them in a box or put them on each jar. But putting them on each jar doesn't make sense because we, like I said, we use these as actual drinking glasses. So why put a lid on something you're gonna use to drink water out of? So then here's what I had before to corral the lids. And I mean, just, just way too small, way too small. And I was trying to fit the straws in there that obviously doesn't work. So I'm gonna go look in my basement and see if I have something else that's bigger, but will still let me keep everything in it and fit in that cabinet. I found this black basket in the basement and it's a lot bigger than I thought we were gonna need. I brought it up just in case and I thought, oh, there's no way I'm gonna need something this huge. But I really do because look at all the lids. I have found all of them, a couple of the bottles I didn't notice just still had their lids on. So I took the lids off pretty much every bottle except uh, just a couple. And I had to fit them all in something, and this thing is just way bigger than I wanted in here. 
but I don't know what else to do because it's packed full of lids. So I think I have to keep it. I think I, I just have to use it. So the lids are gonna go in this basket and it does not match at all with the straw basket, but that's okay. This is one that I got at the dollar store just a few months ago. And all of the straws for my Starbucks cups, for my tiny water bottle, it's a little half straw that goes with my little water bottle, the extras for my Bubba mugs, um, they all fit in here perfectly well. I had a shorter version of this also from the dollar store. It's probably about that short. That The straws do not fit in that. They were just too long, so I did have to use something a little bit longer. So I think what I'm going to do is put this in the cabinet. And let me show you the finished product also for the cabinets. So this is a space for the lids and straws, but... These are all the water bottles and they have been slightly rearranged. I know it probably looks just as jumbled and messy as when I started, but they have been rearranged. So things that we use less frequently are towards the back, such as the protein shaker bottles. And because those are kind of special, you know, I left the little shaker ball in there and then I put their lids on. And then this is another special one because it's like a fruit infuser bottle. So I left the insert in that and the lid on that one. And then I just kind of use my best judgment to move things around. So stuff less frequently, like some of our thermosy things, especially now since it's summertime, like that's towards the back. And then stuff that I use more often, like my mini water bottle and all of our Starbucks cups and stuff, those are all towards the front. So, and I, did, and I wanted this one in front too, so it doesn't get lost in the back. So that's how I'm gonna have it for now. And then I just am gonna pop this right in here like so, and I'm going to put the straws on top of it. It's not great looking, but I want these things very easily accessible and like right here at the front so you can just pull them out, you know, like that, take a quick look, grab the lid that you need and put it back in. So that's shelf number one. Then shelf number two has all of the drinking jars that we use most frequently and I was kind of uh, thinking that I would like shove them over to the side, but I want them in front and prominent because we really do use them that often. So I want them to be easier for me to reach and to put away when I'm emptying out the dishwasher. So that's all that's back there. It's just the regular drinking jars. And at the way back are their lids, which I just left in that Ziploc. You know, I could use a box or something or even a little bin from the basement, but to me, there really is no need to change that. And it, since each lid has two parts, it's just handier to shove it all in a Ziploc and it keeps everything, um, you know, together so lids don't go flying around. Then I have the little magic, is this a magic bullet? You know, this little magic bullet-y type blender. Um, these pieces here, I want them handy because my sister does use that. So I don't want to go putting that on a higher shelf where she can't reach or where it would be hidden. So again, sh glasses that we're using every day stay on this shelf. Next, on the third shelf up, I've got the two random jars. I know that we could drink out of those, but there just really isn't a need right now, considering we have all these jars. So I'm just gonna keep them because, you know, we do use jars to actually store things in on occasion, so I don't wanna get rid of them. And then these are the new jars that I bought that I will drink out of, but as you can see, they're so much smaller. They hold way less than a regular jar, so that's just gotta be when I wanna drink something smaller. Maybe like a small milkshake or a small smoothie, something like that. And the Better Homes and Gardens jars, the short ones, I'm leaving over here. And I had some with their lids on, some with their lids off, and a Ziploc with some of the lids in there. So I took all the lids that were just floating around and put them on the jars because we don't use these frequently enough to keep the lids off of them. We don't drink out of these. So these are all gonna stay stored with their lids on. And then last but not least, this very top shelf, which I don't need to access very often at all. It's just so high up here. Um, this has extra jars. These are my family's, I believe. I don't think these are mine. And the thermoses are over here. Like I've mentioned, I think we, I really don't use those frequently at all. So they can also stay out of the way. They're just kind of, a, you know, we have them just in case. And then in this little bin, I have um, just a couple things. So 
One thing that I stash in here is, well, I want to see if I can do this without dropping it. Okay, so one thing that I stash in here is a little extra reusable plastic cup. Um, I know, like, why would you have something like this when you have all these to-go cups anyway? But on occasion, I will want something that's for, like, a smoothie or a drink on the go, and I don't want to have to worry about keeping the big bottle with me, and I, you know, just want the option of being able to recycle it when I'm out. Um, so that's why I have some of these. They're from the store GFS, which I love. It's, oh my gosh, you can find everything there. It's like restaurant supply stuff. So I have a bunch of these, but when I use one and then end up taking it home, or I'm really only used it for a short time, then I like to wash it out and use it again because I just don't feel right about like going through something that quickly if I don't have to. So it's perfectly fine, I think, to wash and reuse that. And also in here are um, a little drink, like, would you call this a koozie or a cozy? Like you wrap it around your drink so that if it's hot, you don't burn your hand. Isn't that adorable? I got that as a gift. It's so cute. And then the last thing in here is a water bottle carrier. So you would just slip your water bottle in this thing and then it's got a clip, so you clip it on to your bag or I suppose a fanny pack or a belt loop or something like that so that it can be like a hands-free way to carry your water bottle. So that's something that I don't use all the time, but it has come in handy before. I've used it on vacations and things like that, so I want to keep it. So those are the things that are going to stay in this little extras container. And, and that's going to go stay right on the top shelf in case I need it. So what do you think? I know that it was a small project and the result is still probably to most people not very organized looking or fancy because I don't have any fancy organizational stuff going on, but I just wanted to clean everything out, to at least look at everything, be reminded of everything that I have and what's hiding in the back and in the corners that I can't reach and see easily, and then give everything a once over and just reassess what I've got and um, I did get rid of those three water bottles. I put them in a Goodwill pile. So I know it wasn't getting rid of a whole lot right now, but since we have lived in this house a couple of years, I have previously gone through and gotten rid of other water bottles. So I have been doing this over time, um, but it was just so bad right now. I just couldn't take it anymore. It was just way too messy. So I'm hoping that this new organization is helpful to me and that it lasts for a while. And I wanted to make sure that I just used, um, I know these bins aren't anything fancy, but they're what I had on hand. I did not want to go out and have to buy any organizational elements for this cabinet. I just wanted to use whatever I had around here. And I think that these are gonna work. I like how the lids and straws are separated. I like how they're easily accessible right here in the very front of the cabinet. And yeah, I, th I think this is going to be a good thing. We're going to try it anyway, at least for the next couple months and see how it goes. So thanks very much for watching. I hope this gave you a little bit of kitchen cleaning and organization inspiration. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.